and you're making people play on their sympathies about suicide? F yourself, dude. Seriously, uh, man, the f is wrong with lost you. that friendship is because of the is wrong with you. that you're defending admitted to manipulating her, his friend, so I don't know Manipulating. Oh, I, I Manipulating. Was Hang on. I, I was and, and I have to ask you a question there, Stretch Armstrong. What the f*** are you hoping to achieve by doing this? <laughs> That's why people like you resort to Jesus Christ! I don't think anyone was really, genuinely hurt here. I don't what? think that you were literally crying and suicidal. That there was people messaging me. I know he is f insane. So I would just say be careful around him and don't trust him with anything because if he has the opportunity to flip on you or do like weird cloudy things or backstab, like I think he will always uh, jump on that. He is an absolutely unhinged person. But just yeah, be careful. Do you have experiences with him like doing like backstabby shit? Yes. So you've seen him? I, well, yeah. Really? There was people saying that you were talking about uh, exiling him. So essentially we got to know each other. We did some content together. It was like content. It was a bit um, where we were like sort of playing like an abusive couple. Um, but I became more and more aware that he was actually developing some feelings for me and instead of handling that like a mature person what I did was I hatched a secret little scheme to uh, ditch him because he wanted to have a date with me which would be streamed but he also said it would be a real date I hatched a secret plan with his friend Nadouche to ditch him oh Nadouche the schizo Nadouche is literally one of the most deranged schizo people in the history of DJ. Most of you won't even know that name, but just know that Nadouche is literally one of the most schizo crazy f***ing people in my entire f***ing community. Like an actual schizo f***ing crazy person. Wait, why is he banned? Um, I don't know why he's banned, but whatever reason he's banned for is probably a good enough reason for me. I would keep him banned. He's- that guy's f***ing insane. Oh shit, Nadouche, if you're listening, uh, come Seattle, on the qualifier show today, 8 p.m. Eastern so, time. I hope he's not one of those people that's good at typing, uh, but not good at talking. This is what I, this confident. is just what I sent to him. This okay, is what Krieger I just, just told me about I said, him. I I'm guess sorry. this guy is a fucking legend over here. Holy shit. Okay, okay I'm listening to yeah. stuff. Sorry, I was wrong to do that Shut to up, you. Nadouche. I'm sorry. I like having power over people, and it was wrong. I knew it was wrong when I saw you in that suit. He got, he got a suit uh, for the date and flowers. I was a, an asshole. I said, I l you are a good, genuine person, and I lied to you constantly, which is true. I lied about the kissing, I lied about leaving. I thought it would be funny on some level, but it wasn't. It just wasn't. Um, so about the kissing, yeah, so he kissed me and I told him I hadn't kissed a guy before. And what I meant was like I hadn't really made out with a guy before, but none of that's really true. So I lied. I did lie to him. I'm sorry. I did lie to him. I'm not trying to act right now, but I get that it looks like I'm acting because of being like serious or whatever. I'm not, I'm not trying to act. I said, I'm a shitty person, and I kicked my dad in the balls the whole trip, and now you. It doesn't matter, but I still do think you personally are a very good person who tried to have a fun trip, and I fucked that up for you. You're right to say that I should kill myself if this is what I enjoy doing to other people. On a certain level, I was overwhelmed and couldn't handle it, but that doesn't fucking excuse the lying, and it was just wrong. You deserve better, and I know that's a cliche thing to say, but I was a fucking stuck-up asshole. You couldn't have been more supportive and genuine towards me, and I lied straight to your face. My, my dad says he'd be happy to call you. <laughs> I'm gonna start a stream and tell everyone what I just told you, if you wanna call in and say anything. If you also wanna call me and talk privately, I swear to God, you can say anything you want and I will never tell, but if you don't wanna speak to me again, that's completely understood. If you want to hear this from me off screen, off text, I will absolutely tell you. I will absolutely, I absolutely will talk to you, so. Uh, that's, that's what I said just to him. Uh, I don't think he would care if I made that public just because it's easier to just read what I wrote in the, like, I wrote that, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Just, it's kind of easier to just go over it than to come up with it on the spot. So, anyways, 
I'm not sure what to say except that Darius was genuine with me and I am not trying to play like a bit here. He was genuine with me. We, he was, he made sure I was cool with all the content off camera. So, you know, he was totally respectful. Um, I asked him to give me some physical space and he did. And then I just, I ditched him. And I think the reason I did that was because I enjoy having power over people. There, I mean, when I saw him in the suit, I did, it did prick my conscience and I was like, okay, I shouldn't have done this. I should have just told him, you know what? I don't, I don't, uh, you know, whatever. I, I think I'm so special, but I should have just told him that I didn't have the same feelings for him at the moment. And I thought that maybe doing a date publicly would be uh, too much pressure on the situation. But instead, what did I do? I thought it would be funny Act and I hatched stupidly. a secret plan to ditch him. Um, this is like basically a, a paid vacation for me and what have I done? I've been totally uncommunicative with him the entire trip and... What is this? <laughs> uh, essentially what? thrown our Clayton. relationship in the garbage. So I'm like, whatever. Again, it's all about me. It's always about me. So I'll just try to calm down here and try to be honest. Okay. You lied to him, you like having power over people, but you're also saying you're not playing a bit here. How can we trust you? That is the problem, yes. Uh, the girl who cried wolf. Yeah, that's the problem. You can't tell. I think you can tell when somebody's being genuine, but I mean, I could just stream for like five hours straight and just try to get to the... I, the, the, the truth is I'm not being genuine because I'm on camera and I'm not acting the way that I would act in person and I'm protecting myself and I'm making sure I look good and everything else. What are you feeling right now internally, if you don't mind me asking? Okay. Apparently they chatted later on. I feel bad. I shouldn't feel bad, but I do because I care about him. I shouldn't feel bad. I shouldn't. Because he's doing it to himself, he's knowingly doing it to himself, and I can guarantee you he's going to message her. If he doesn't, it will be a blessing from God and a step in the right direction. He probably already has. So, kids, how can we... How can we repair the situation? What can we do to repair it? You said, Darius, okay, you said, I'm going to get chicks on Tinder, and I'm going to have a few drinks, and I'm going to hang out. Can we do better than that? Can, can, we, can, we, can we find some kind of way in which Grace can make it up to you, and, like, you guys can show the Zoomers of the world. It's not about money. It's not about content. You can say that's all it is. But I'm saying, like, that it's, it's okay to make a few mistakes on both sides, to act a little immature, but that, like, in the end... That you do care about each other as people, as people. I am, I am no longer friends with one of my closest friends now as a result of this. So I think I'm not going to engage in this stuff anymore. Yay. Yeah, but bad. why can't you talk it through with their douche? What, what? Because you understand how that Grace, happened? Grace has made him believe that I just genuinely in some sort of like i i don't know what he's trying to say. I was, I was trying to figure out why. How did you let? Oh God, irrelevant. No. I'm only holding a relevant responsible here because Darius has like the cognitive capacity of a child when it comes to being a fixer. How did you let, how did Ben get to step into the abuser manipulator dad role here? I don't understand how you let him do this. No. He gets, now this is the part that he wanted to play the whole time and he managed to get here. Ugh. It's not his channel? It's Ben's channel? Wait, what are you saying? I'm saying all four of these people are talking to each other. Are they not? Am I misunderstanding this? Jesus, chill guys. Talk to me as someone who I thought was my friend. And his response is just that he thought that I was going to do some weird behavior or do some weird I did, I did not, I, the douche. 
Nadouche did not did he did not think you were like uh, look you were a total gentleman physically of and course you, you, did, you did not you did not portray that to him then and that's where I think that no that's I think it was emotional look he told me I, he told me I think this is best for Darius emotionally that he's getting attached he thought it would be funny and he also thought like look it'd be best to just cut it off honestly from his per per perspective that's what i understand i don't want to talk for him but that's what i understood okay maybe it's not his place to say that but that's genuinely he did not think you were some kind of a okay, well somebody I when i thought okay well that, regardless i thought you were my friend i thought he was my friend i was hoping anybody could be honest with me and now i realize i cannot be friends with people who cannot be honest with me no 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 darius this is self-indulgent there was an element of your behavior that was concerning Relly can recognize that, Nadouche recognized it, Grace recognized it, and I recognize it. You were starting to do stuff that was a little Whoa. off the rails. No Everybody no recognized way. it. Darius, quit playing so innocent. It's fucking bullshit, and you know. Are you Darius. still? Are you still at your parents' house? Years older, right? Darius, and you're, you're still at your parents' house, right? Right? Darius, shut Wait, the fuck up. What's his last name? What's Jeremy's last name? I'm pretty sure you can Peterson. look up his last name. Okay, Peter, I mean Peterson. Okay, Peterson. Okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, go for it, bitch. Do your worst. We don't need to dox people. That's that immature Zoomer shit. Now, listen, you, you, when you said, I'm maybe I'm going to kill myself, you shouldn't do that to your audience. Really you shouldn't do it to suicide. your friends. Do not do that. Do not do that. That's it's not a, good content. That's a no no, Darius, right? Mental illness, right? Hey, what? What's force him out. Force him out. Is he actually on a run? When you say, like, maybe I'm going to kill myself over the next few days, you can't do that as a man. You can. Yeah not uh, say that yeah sure you can tell someone i hope you kill yourself okay all right that's that's okay but don't say I maybe i'm gonna kill myself unless you mean that and then you need to get off the internet because it okay is this how arpgs normally are and i'm just an idiot and i don't remember from path of exile or are there like conditionals on all the d4 gear way too much like i feel like i read some of these conditionals and it's like 4.2% damage reduction during sunset from enemies that have like level 15 Pokemon. Like, why Why is all of it so, it seems so cringe. I don't know. Uh, I hate, I hate, I just hate a lot of the affixes in this game. That you're not able to handle it. If you're. Wait, hold on. Is Forsen actually on a run right now? One sec. <laughs> 14 minutes. Game is frozen I have no food. Options Retards. For Spamming eat. I have no food. He's it's dead. Over. He's dead. That's a dead. Contemplating suicide. I think that's I think not good content. Too. It's <laughs> that's way over the line. I think the I think probably just shouldn't engage with people that are causing me to have suicidal thoughts. I think I think that is the correct play. That's a little self indulgent. No, that's the absolutely people aren't the right making way. you have suicidal thoughts. Absolutely, you no, lack. You lack strength. Well, lack strength. Wait, even if we agree with the idea he lacks strength, until he gathers the strength to be able to withstand these blows, he shouldn't engage with the people that bring him to the point of suicide. Even if I agree well, with your okay, point, do you, is it, was that real? Do, were you really contemplating the suicide? Is all the same. Were you really doing that, or were you just saying that as a kind of baby kind of way to gain attention? You weren't I, contemplating suicide. You weren't. I was not it's just a mechanism by which you gain attention from people. people. I was having suicidal ideation, though. That is correct. I was. Uh, at least I thought oh, I was. Oh, give I, me a break. Uh, I, yeah, this, I this is what I'm talking give about. Give me a break. Like, That's you, cool. You, you literally didn't understand the... D -D. My, my, th my thought process is just that it's just like, again, like I don't, like I, I, I do need to, I think if I interact, if I do interact with Grace, I am just going to generally keep it as thinking this person is a subhuman person as they want me to pretend they are. Oh so my I'm God, not, Darius. So Grow I, a fucking I, pear, dude. You want me You're to interacting with her now. I'm interacting with her right now because yeah. I heard her say something about how like I was still going ahead and like doing shit or whatever. Like there was like kissing or stuff that was off camera. I think pretty sure every kiss was on camera and every, as far as like the hugging and the whatever goes, she even said like, I'm okay with cuddling. And I was like, that's fine. But just like anything more, just a little weird. And then it was like, so if we do anything, it has to be like 24 hours from the time period. 
I was like, okay, cool, as long as it's just like... Hello, you know, first yeah. of all, if you're genuinely having suicidal thoughts, you need to be talking to a psychologist or a psychiatrist and not on air. Um, second of all, I just want to summarize. I'm not trying to be rude. Who the fuck is this you, guy? You and Grace had a plan. You fucked around and caught some feelings. She had to find a way to reject you. She yeah, didn't pick the best way to do that. And now you're telling everyone that it's somehow her fault and you're suicidal. Dude, this is not healthy Four behavior. Perimeter. It's not. I suggest you get offline now and go and go and talk to someone professional. Okay, Thank you for I your could, input. I get your heavy breathing every sentence. You should get a help from your physiologist Dude, or something. Dude, this is clearly attention seeking then. If you're not going to go and get proper help, this is clearly attention seeking and I feel no sympathy for you. You made a play, you got shot down, now your feelings are hurt and you're turning this into some big fucking drama. You tried to make a play, she wasn't interested. She, she picked a goofy way to tell you no and now you're acting like it's the end of the world be a man dude seriously stop and you're bringing your friend into this and you're losing friendships and you're you're f with your audience and you're making people play on their f sympathies about suicide Go f yourself dude seriously uh, man the f what's wrong with lost you that friendship is because what of the f is wrong with you? you're defending admitted to manipulating her, his friend so i don't know why the f manipulating oh, I, I manipulating was hang on I, I was and, and i have to ask you a question there stretch armstrong what the f what are you hoping to achieve by doing this? What's your objective here? What do you think you're going to achieve? Well, other than to shit and try and imply that there's some kind of... This is all you're What are you hoping to achieve? What are you hoping to achieve? What's your objective? How are you trying to help your friend here? Grace know that she had all of the information available to her to know that he was going to have a severe emotional reaction. And for some reason, Toothless over here came to defend her when she was perfectly capable of doing that. We were right there. I'll write it on my nutsack right now his feelings yeah, were hurt no, no, right, we, we've taken it on we've entered it Nobody into the public record go f*** yourself now seriously what, what are you hoping to achieve here you incel f seriously you, like, oh the woman is at fault because she said no oh, that's why you can't get laid that's why people like you resort to Jesus you Christ! With is this people. The you're broken. This, this, this you either go this abstinent is or you become a repeat. That's your dude. Okay. God <laughs> those, damn. Th that's some. That's really some. From those are some good the questions, there. guys. The, this is uh, the people who have a little more experience are seeing stuff that's like, it, it, come on, guys. Okay. Those uh, are good questions. They're tough questions. That's I a tough energy to face. You, you can't even think, give me two of the questions he asked. I, I, because he just talked I, about okay. scrubbing shit on his balls. How about we just talk <laughs> with Grace the way that we intended to? That's the reason why we're in here. So I have a conversation know, with Grace, not like the whole cast of the Looney Tunes. I can talk to them. I can well, talk to them. Well, I mean, it, it, this is a collaborative okay. effort. I think that I, I would like to see, I personally, and you guys can get rid of me, I would like to see, I don't think anyone was really genuinely hurt here. I don't what? think that's true. Who was? Who was? Darius. Darius was a victim of this interaction. Even a douche. Unironically, even a douche was hurt no, no, by no, this. The douche right. messaged me and he said, don't say that you manipulated me. I was a free person who did free actions. Okay, cool. you're trying to- That doesn't mean I he's was... not hurt. Okay, but this whole I'm hurt and I'm not going to interact with anyone. This is the problem with young people, the whole I'm ghosting you. Okay, you need, all of you need to take responsibility for your minor mishaps here. No one is a victim here. Can't three interesting, attractive people. Oh my God. Do I mean, better than this. Just uh, can, we, can we have a happy been, ending? Can we have a happy been, ending? Ben, in a real way, because I, I don't, I don't even think you're doing a bit right now. I think you're, you're being so legitimate. I do, in genuine way, think, um, like I said, there see, like, I'm not saying that. I think there can be like some entertainment to be had here to engage with this. I, like there was at least for me for a little bit until I understand this dynamic and then it's boring. But like. Darius shouldn't be engaging with this because Darius is like genuinely super distraught right now. I don't know why he's in this call. There's absolutely nothing good that will come from him being in this call. Like, what is he looking for? He's not gonna get closure. He's not, oh, I know why he's in the call. 
There's actually only one reason why he's in the call. I don't even know why I pretended to not know. I know exactly why he's in the call. It's because he thinks he can get him and Grace back to some position where their relationship is stabilized again. That's why he's on the call. I'm sorry. I don't know why I pretended to not immediately and intuitively know that because that's exactly what's happening here. <clears throat> there are issues. There are things I fucked up on pretty badly. Uh, and like yeah, I said, that's why yeah. you're a great guy. Okay, so you're a yeah. great guy. But you I didn't fuck up in a way that I, that I would I say anyone it. needs to like. Everyone needs to like clutch pearls and wring their hands about and feel guilty. No one wants you to feel guilty. You're a great guy. They you're genuine. Like you're a great streamer. You could have a great career ahead of you. And maybe you could see this as a great experience where you start to say like. Something that manipulative or abusive people are really good at. Um, you could probably spend a lot of time studying this guy and Mr. Girl is also really good at it. Um, one thing that manipulative people are really good at is they're so good at if they've broken you down and you truly are broken, they they don't actually keep pushing. They'll, they can build you back up in a way that like makes them very endearing. Um, it makes you view them very favorably. It makes you um, want to keep talking to them. It makes you see them as like a source of authority on your life and everything. Um, I don't know if it'll work on Darius because of all the external content, but like notice how a lot of the comments that Ben has for Darius are like actually kind of nice now, right? Like, oh, like, listen, like you could be a great streamer. You could do this. Like you still have the potential for all of this, blah, 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 blah. Like he's like switched into that mode of like the abuse cycle, right? Because now he thinks that Darius is kind of like beaten down enough to. Rope like, him in, okay, basically. If I'm going to do this for a living, I need to be a little more. What is Daddy Thorpe's goal? His goal is is that if he can bring Darius 100% under his thumb, that gives him some kind of tangential access to my community. Well, he thinks it does, and then it builds their popularity. Remember, his goal is to expand, um, expand their popularity as much as possible. That's the only thing he cares about. That's why he whores his daughter out to people. It's, he's used her this entire time. I don't know if Darius is not aware of it or just can't see it, but um, he's he, the Ben has used his daughter this entire time as basically a honeypot to get Darius like more involved in all this content and everything, and he'll do whatever he can to. To, like build out the connections and everything. More careful, or if I'm gonna be this edgy, edgy, edgy guy, I gotta have a plan B for when I get uh, canceled. Uh, and with women, maybe I need to be a little, a little clearer, which will actually make me more attractive, right? I'm just saying that. It could be a learning thing. No one has to come away th with these speeches about, I'm never going to do that yes, again because I got burned. You guys are too talk. young to give up on life because you have a okay. minor mishap. Okay, yeah, no, okay. I, I, I and give up on relationships. Yes. It's just too yes. fucking yes. easy for your generation to just yes. give up yes. on yes. relationships. I'm not saying, yes. I'm not saying romantically, I'm just saying yes. relationship. Yes. Okay, Chris, do you remember when we specifically had the conversation? Okay, so when I, I told you whatever, I was like, we had, we had a conversation about, like, do you like me genuinely or not? Whatever, I was like, I do genuinely yeah. like you. And you're like, okay, well, like, I don't really know, like, if I go this fast with people. So, like, the kissing and stuff like that, I don't know if I want to do that. And let's put, like, a 24-hour hold in it. And I was like, okay, like, what is something? And I asked you, like, I was like, what is something um, that you would genuinely want me to do to, to that would be, like, a a way of why not mention shitty abusive and manipulative things that darius has done um darius has the potential to be manipulative and abusive because i think fixers can be um oof, i mean keep in mind that every time i talk about this i'm making a lot of generalizations okay so it's not necessarily hold true for everything uh, every situation i think the re the way that fixers can be abusive is i don't know all the time if fixers genuinely want the other party to get better i think fixers usually just want the other party to become dependent on them for reinforcement basically like a fixer doesn't genuinely want the person they're trying to fix to become like a confident healthy person they want them to become totally reliant on the fixer for validation essentially um also, keep in mind that when I say things like this, these things aren't like conscious thought process where someone's guy's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking take over this, blah, blah, blah. It's just, these are just the way that these people act like naturally. It's like a natural extension of all the behavior um, from what I've observed. But um, in this sense, I don't know if I would say that Darius is being abusive because um, Darius doesn't have any of the psychological power here. Darius is the one that's being manipulated by Grace and the dad the entire time, right? The dad knows that Darius is a fixer. He knows that he can abuse that aspect of him and he's using Grace to basically pull him into these types of stunts over, what is this, the second or third time that this has happened? Like over and over. And now he's trying to build it up to a third or fourth time, right? By getting them back on good footing with each other. Communicating to you that I have interest in you and that's something I'm trying to pursue or how you would respond back to me 
and we will continue this. And he said, uh, I'll have to think about that. Give me 24 hours. We won't do any like contact stuff outside of stream or whatever. And then we'll go ahead and we can have a conversation about it. And then the next morning, I tried to talk to you about it. And I, I, I'll be honest, I can't even tell you. I asked you and you just kind of like relatively dodged the question. And I was like, okay, yeah. cool, I get it. Wait, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. Darius, you know that you were not a good match. You knew that. You knew that you're not her type and she's really not your type. You knew that. I saw you do that. You went off and you're like, uh, you know, she's not into guys like me. She's more intellectual. I can't do that. I'm not that guy. You knew that. You knew that you guys were not compatible. But you are around a, a beautiful girl and you just, you can't say, <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? You, you just want control. pussy. You want myself. pussy. It is fine. Yeah, but like, I it, so bad. I'm so desperate for pussy. I'm just so desperate for pussy. Um, Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's true. I just. Yes, it is true. Uh, and so am I. W, W, W. Um, no, but then, uh, what's it called? Then you didn't really give me an answer. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just do this stream thing. And if you haven't decided it by then, just say no. When we do the go ahead and do the stream. And I will just know what? I'm just not going to entertain this idea anymore. And I get like it. Maybe I was immature and I should have just like on a romantic like level rejected you, but you were not, you were not being like, it, it would be, it would have been tough and you would have taken it personally and then it would have been I awkward. I would have like, taken it personally. I will, I, I, I guess we can have that conversation. Clearly, like, okay, I was Another thing that makes this difficult too, and this is why I said before that I would never try to get this involved in any of this. Grace is 20 years old. She is a, an adult. So if she's getting mind fucked by her dad, she is. If she's a complete total pawn of him and like a manipulated basically zombie of his, she is. There's nothing you can do about it. She at this point, she's so bought into it. Like she enjoys it. She likes it. She genuinely is trying to do what she can to like further her dad's little devious schemes because she sees them as being part of the same thing. Like that's her choice. And as an adult, like you can't really take those decisions from her. Like that's what she's choosing. Um, there are ways to do it to fight against that, but I, I talked, um, it was on their stream, but off my stream. I talked to Darius about this, but you have to become essentially just as manipulative on the other end um, if you want to fight against that. This is also why I say that, like, um, why I don't fight for streamer friendships. If I feel like people are shit talking me behind the scenes to a person and they're starting to, like, lose confidence in me, I just totally cut that person off. I'm like, listen, if you if you think what those people say about me, then that's fine. You, you can think that. But, like, because in order to fight that type of manipulation on the other end, you usually have to be really manipulative on your end, and it's just exhausting. It's like, why, like, fuck that. Not worth the time. I was clearly giving you signals that I was like, just wanted to be friends. And then you moped for an entire night when we were walking around. We were walking you the entire, no, I did. I, I mean, you're literally changing because we had the conversation that morning and I told you after we woke up in the hotel together, I told you, I was like, hey, like fucking, what's it called? I had a bad day yesterday, fucking what's it called? I was telling really to get the camera out of my face since like, I, we have the recording of it. I can go show you it. When you fucking put the camera on my face, I was annoyed. Because after we ate Ethiopian food, I was kind of feeling pretty shit. And I told you about that. And now, right now, you're saying, like, like you understand, understand how it's like, it's hard because, like, you're, you're mixing two different things. And I, I already told you, like, hey, I wasn't moping all there because I was like, hmm, I can't kiss Grace. <laughs> like, I, I was just upset the whole day. I was just having a bad day, like, since, the, since like, f 5 or 6 p.m. And then I was kind of, like, dragged along going. And when does this end? When does this end? Where's the exit ramp for you? Where's the conclusion? I just want to know about the conclusion. And this has gone on way too long. Where's the conclusion? Where does this end for you? Where, how do we get you off your feelings? I I would be happy to make it up to you in some way. I'm not sure how I could do that, but I do think it was shitty for me to just. But I you. think there's a bigger problem. Okay, even if you were compatible, Derek. When she says things like that, I don't know if she's aware of it or not. Probably not because she has got very limited relationship experience. I don't know how adept she is at manipulating men. But like those types of statements, whenever Darius hears stuff like that, I know that his heart is like skipping a beat. He's like, oh, she wants to make it up to me. Maybe I've got another chance, blah, 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 blah. This is why with Darius's current state of mind, he needs to not be in these situations at all. Um, something that I recommend over and over again is like being strong mentally doesn't mean having no limits. Being strong mentally means recognizing your limits. That is so much more important. Um, there's nothing wrong with being like, this is a situation is too intense for me, I need to like get out, um, and just leaving, like that will keep you safe 99% of the time. Tricking yourself into thinking that you can handle anything is the number one way that you end up getting hurt or super mind fucked. Like it just happens every time.
Aquarius, you are not ready to be in a relationship with a female right now. You are too Look how you're acting too from a rejection, dependent. dude. You're too dependent. You need to solve us. Uh, uh, you need to solve some problems that you have. And about you just sorry to interrupt you. You just finished saying, "Oh no, I wouldn't have taken it badly." This was Grace's way of trying to let you down gently, albeit a bad one. But she was trying to get an easy out for her and to let you down gently by making it just goofy on their content. And you're still here with your feelings hurt. You're just too emotional. Have you yeah. ever considered that? Okay. Try logic instead of emotion. Well, because frankly, mean, I, I, you're I, pissing me the f off Jesus and making Christ, me emotional. Fringe, dude. Uh, nobody asked, bro. Nobody yeah, I don't care about you your opinion, there, What the fuck are you talking about, dude? What the hell? Dude, he's like, sitting here crying you're because a girl told him no. He's, he's a grown ass man no crying on the internet because a girl told him no. And frankly, I'm not even that brutal away. Okay, okay, okay. Rally, go ahead. You okay? okay. All right. So he's, earlier, he said he's you, yeah. Earlier, two legendaries. You really? guys were going back and forth as to whether or not like he would take it harshly if you like did whatever. This is a a nonsensical idea. The whole idea is you if, if you picked one of the best ways to emotionally f him up that you could have chose if that was your objective. The problem is that. All, all different scenarios, all of the other scenarios that you could have chosen would have been better. Just talking with him. You said that you didn't want to talk to him about it and like let him down in a separate way because you were afraid of how he was going to respond because he was moping around after he did whatever. Even if that was true, do you think that he would have taken you having a genuine one-on-one -on -one conversation with him? I'm not into you. Please stop. Here on forward. Full stop. No matter what. Done. Do you think he would have taken that more harshly than literally being left on red for a whole night? Yeah, but she had that conversation with him, really. She had that. You can't have that conversation multiple times with a man. It's humiliating. When did that conversation happen? That there was the clarity, no, no, the clarity no conversation. No, no relationship stuff, no intimate stuff. Oh, for no, so maybe Grace is lying. Maybe Grace is lying. Maybe Grace is lying. If she's we lying... Had a, we had a clarity conversation. You can only have that conversation once. To my on the balcony, twice, the on guys the balcony, on zero the balcony I said, I said, you know, Kekla. let's just take a break. Let's, let's. Uh, the, well, on the balcony, I, you did not you say let's to, take a break. You said, get, you, no, I'm sorry, if you didn't say let's a break, you said the 24 hour time and we'll, we'll come back to the I conversation. I didn't say 24 hours. I did not say you that. You did say 24 hours verbatim. I said I need some time to think about. All okay, this. but like but Darius, it. Darius, like, and I have confusion about this too. When a when a girl is giving you. Like she, there is a kind of like no, that's a yes, and then there's a no I, that's I like do, a, I, no. I do generally get that. That's why I. That's why I was not continuing to do stuff relative to that zone. And then notice how there's a couple things that are true of like normal human interaction too. Like if you're around somebody long enough, you're gonna warm up to them. You're gonna start to interact with them. Um, like notice how Darius was initially incredibly hostile towards Ben, as he should have been, right? And he didn't want to engage at all. But now it's gotten to the point where he's trying to justify himself. He's giving answers, and now he's engaging him in like cordial conversation conversation about everything that had happened, right? Notice how he's like starting to switch up from the beginning. Like this is just because he's gonna be in the call with him for a long time and it's gonna to start to happen. This is why this call should not be happening. Um, it's just not, there's just no reason for this. Okay, and, and a girl isn't, a girl isn't generally gonna be super, super duper clear because it's, it's, it's a ball bust at some point, right? I mean, you had several conversations with Grace over the couple of weeks where she never once told you like i'm into it right never once was there it was uh, always like yeah not so much right and it could have been said in a nice way to say like I i'm not ready for this or whatever but come on you've got to read between the lines you it, it, the, and and if you keep pursuing that, it's just going. It, it is self destructive. There's no. You, uh, there are zero okay. chicks. In Do you have any predictions? Uh, if I had to make a prediction, I think that this. I I would predict that this would go on for another four to six months. That's that's that would be my guess because I think that because all of the incentives line up to keep this going on indefinitely until it explodes big time. But like. Um, the Thorps have every incentive to continue to pursue Darius. Grace is getting good content. Ben is gonna honeypot Grace for Darius. It gets him a little bit closer to my community. So those incentives are lined up 100%. And Darius is the type of person that if Grace reaches out, Darius will never be able to say no. 
Um, the only potential maybe confounds, maybe, would be Darius saying he can hang out with Grace, but it's gotta be with a lot of conditionals that Grace won't accept, and, and Darius would maintain those boundaries or preferences, but I don't think he would. Um, or or some hugely dramatic event where Darius has finally broken off. But no, I think that um I think that I think that Darius would do in his mind and in his heart. He's like open 100% to Grace and he'll yeah, that, I think he'll as long as she's willing to entertain this he'll entertain it. That'd be my guess. But in the world who come around when you have said if you, uh, if you, if you uh, uh, and okay, then you keep I'm just you right going. Now, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Okay, I get that, and I have no interest in Grace as of right now. I think Grace is fucking repulsive. I don't care. All I'm trying to fucking say is just that. Like all I'm trying to say is just that there were communications and you know, a lot of things I left open. So many you know, feelings. Just say, hey, I just I want to know why are we walking on eggshells for your feelings? What? You don't manage your own feelings. Why are we supposed you to manage your feelings for you? Hold up, Point Dexter. I actually agree with you on this one. We shouldn't walk around anybody else's feelings. Let's just stop communicating with each other. You guys don't give a fuck yeah. about each other. Hey, you know, if, if you want to keep coming around and being hostile, Ben wants them to keep communicating though. Ben doesn't want that. Ben wants to patch it up. How about we actively stop on your feelings to eliminate them? Stop fucking talking. How about we actively fuck with each other? I'm trying to go make some content in other places with my roommate. That sounds great. I think everybody agrees. Let's go. Go do that, Stretch Armstrong. Go do that, Stretch Armstrong. Hold on. Let me let me just say let me just say. You're trying to turn me into like I don't know what I don't know. I think Relly thinks yeah, I'm more you're a villain. than I am, or more more of a psychopath. I do care about Darius. I do think genuinely he's a good person. He makes interesting <laughs> content. He's trying to do something with his life. I do care about him as a person. Damn, you treat I your do. friends poorly. <laughs> God damn! Yeah, you know, sarcastically agreeing with me about walking on eggshells like doesn't help your point, by the way. Because no, he, just went, he just went, he just went from thirsty no, 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 and in love. No, 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 your sarcastic agreement was very clearly not as what it was. You're right to be here, okay? You can leave if you want, okay? Okay, so no, yeah. no, 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 no. He just, just went, clear. He just went from being in love to finding her repulsive. Agree. And my question I still stands. Agree. And my question still went unanswered. Why are we pandering to his feelings when he won't manage his own? Why are we expected to walk on the eggshells? You can agree you the aren't. fuck all you, you like. Aren't. Answer the question. Just, you aren't. I agree with you, blue shirt. I agree then with you. Do have not some walk on eggshells around somebody's feelings you don't leave. give a fuck about. How about you don't that? give a fuck about then have some, some other dignity and stop crying how hard done by your boy was and fucking leave. You don't be a man. I do. have some self-respect. Right. Uh, maybe and some leave. other people in this fucking call no, don't I give a fuck about his feelings. A I do. About it. The, the people who genuinely care about him do. Really, really, really. But you actually. It, 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 I'm just. I'm just gonna try something with you. You believe in tough love, like you. When 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 Darius came out of the bathroom, you were like, ah, uh -uh, guy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you you're the, the victim. If you, something happens because of that, that's on you, right? It's not, we're not a world apart here in terms of like victim. About your well-being. You want to just say fuck it to all of their relationships. You literally just want to spit on those friendships and just go fuck it. I want to continuously pursue this woman. That's what you want to do. If I pursue this woman... Yes, it is. It's Stop funny. lying to people. Content. No, it's not. It's not it, content. You said it was content the first time you got burned. You said it was content the second time you got burned. Nobody's buying it anymore. It's not cute. You're 26 year old. Start acting like a man. Ooh, like you're fucking. You're Jesus. acting like you're 16 years old. Take responsibility for something. Okay. So, Relly, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Since we're since we're since we're since we're all about the mental health and making sure I'm in the right place. What do you think happens when we're doing Tinder content and I have a, since I'm so, all these mentally ill girls just ruin my life and I'm really suicidal. What do you say to these people when I go back to Tinder and it becomes another girl similar to Grace that we have a conversation with and then I get attached to her? What, what do I do? You, you have to actually participate in making your life better by practicing ways to not have an unhealthy attachment pattern. Yeah. The only way that this ends with you having any friends, any at all, is with you fixing your behavior. Nobody can be and, emotionally and attached to And in order for me to, to fix my behavior, I just ha I cannot talk to Grace Thorpe, AKA Joan. Yeah, right now, yeah, you can't do it because you clearly have a pattern of unhealthy attachment with them. 
have a pattern of happening. Yes, it has happened twice, and you are now trying to do it for a third time. What do you think about Hannah, then? I, I don't think you should be interacting with Hannah because I think Hannah's in a different uh, place in her life. We've talked about Hannah. I think she's too young. She's in a transitionary period of her life. I don't think that makes sense. So what do I need in order for you to feel like like I don't I don't understand what you want me to do? That's not the part of my the, the part the part of my stream if you want me to be thorough with you is being as real as possible and having real no, shit happen. Not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's because not. you have lied to every single person in the live about your feelings towards Grace. Oh. I'm not lying. Yes, you have. I, no, I've not. I've, yes, you have. I've, I've been verb. I've been very, very oh, outward. Shit. What am I supposed to tell you? What? You're supposed to let us know that you have romantic feelings for this woman and you want it to work out. I, I guarantee you. Do you? Hold I up. Don't yes or no? Don't. Right now, because everybody in the live knows the answer to this. If Grace was romantically interested in you again, would you pursue it? Yes. Probably not. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Well, yes. Knows the, your line. the same way. Everyone knows you're lying. Okay. Well, I'm not lying. I don't even have to say anymore. Everyone knows you're okay, lying. Okay. Well, no, everyone's gonna know I'm lying because they don't fucking believe me. But even Sushia still has romantic interest in me, and I'm not. That's pursuing. a completely different story. Oh, like I didn't. I didn't bring. I didn't bring up sushi. And even still, I, I'm not sure about sushi. But I, I didn't but even, even bring but, up. But sushi is somebody that I who has who's wronged me, and I've gone ahead and done steps not, to go ahead and not be in a relationship with them. But that's after. Like, Years of back and forth. Fucked with me multiple times. Either I've said after like two years of struggle and battle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, after two times, fool me once, uh, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Type vibes. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And you're about to go for a third with Grace. What's your excuse? You're 26 year old, not, years I'm old. Grow up. You're, you're 26. Grow up. Okay. What is your excuse right now? What's your excuse for going to that fucking live chat room? What's your excuse? My excuse was is that everyone in my chat was saying that they think she's a bad person and I don't think she's a bad person. And I wanted her to just say like, yeah, no, I didn't think that shit was bad. But what she did was she instead tried to say like, no, I think you're manipulative. I'm like, uh, the, 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 this, this is, and then, no. she, and then she goes ahead and says like, oh, well, you we're both manipulative. You can't play this card. You can't say that everybody in my chat thought she was a bad person after I cried and being suicidal about the shit that she did. You need to pick a lame bro. You're, you're weaponizing your audience to be destructive against Grace, and then within the next 12 hours, because of your emotional whiplash, you're like, actually, she's a great person. I don't know why everybody in my audience hates her. It's Maybe it was because you were literally crying and suicidal that there was people messaging me, friends messaging me, that you were so beaten up over this chick. Well, maybe yeah. that's the reason why everybody in, in here hates them you can't act like that came out of nowhere I mean, you did that. well no if they hate they can okay i don't think you should hate them for that 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 issue i think that was a be like that was really fucked up that they did but she's not a bad person you broadcasted that she did that she brought you to the brink of suicide what the fuck is anybody in the live supposed to think no, what, what is what it. are people in the audience supposed to think let when you're ask, sitting there crying let me actually think about that because i was dressed up i was dressed up and i did look dapper would you cut off Darius if you got intertwined with the Thorps? Um, I'd probably take steps to, yeah, because I, the only reason they're leaning so heavily into him is because of my audience, right? And I would, I don't want to grant them popularity via Darius's, like, fix me obsession, yeah. And I did get ready for that date, and I did sit there at the table for a while, and she did leave me. Maybe I just don't think of it. Maybe I let a lot of the good stuff cloud the bad. Maybe that is generally what I do a lot with. I do it with Grace, maybe, and like maybe, maybe, and I, and, and it's, 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 and I, I mean, like in a sense, like I told you, like I'm, am telling you right now, no one will believe me. I'm not romantically interested in Grace anymore. As, as of, as Here, of literally, as so, of the last time, yeah, I lost I, romantic I, interest in Grace. Can I speak on that? But what? Because you said that after the first time. I never said that. You the did. First time. Me and you had a for reference. He was at a restaurant for two hours waiting for her. Oh no, is that true? I'll just text her and say, where are you at? <laughs> oh god.
like that girl. <laughs> Who's? A heartache goes a long way to build character. Oh, that's irrelevant with him? This is an opportunity. You were given an opportunity to learn how to process heartbreak yet again. Learn how to process it in the most healthy way possible. With a silver lining. Thank you. You want something off the menu? I feel like we're kind of obligated to buy something. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get something off the menu. Huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna get food here. Like robber? Yeah. Why not just split something? Let's just split something. Do they think I'm doing a bit? No, not ironically. Okay, when we were leaving the house, my phone pressed a bunch of buttons. And apparently the, the word airport was there. Really read it? Um, post. I, I just deleted because I was like, oh, it was a random, random tweet. I swear on my fucking life, that was a fucking random tweet. I think I'm doing this all for like. I don't care. I'll side with any hate comments against you if this is a bit. Was she recording? Streaming? Dude, excited getting ready all day. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck is the real? Uh, what are we? What is the world? Are you we live for those artichokes? Yeah. You realize it was twenty dollars. Elon Musk calling Zuckerberg a cuck now? Yeah, because he's mad about the Threads app or whatever. I guess. I'm surprised he didn't ban links to Threads on his fucking on Twitter. I just want to go somewhere. You want me to do this? Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, man, I only have a fucking dollar. He blocked it from trending? Oh. Well, I'm plugging my fucking phone. I'm gonna probably die. I only have a fucking dollar. <laughs> when I'm plugging my fucking phone, I'm gonna probably die. She spent almost three hundred dollars on two dresses. I don't think she bought it for me. Damn, the sad thing is, Irrelevant is a really good friend for Darius. But I don't know how I don't know how you would begin to get through to. I don't know how you can get through to Darius. Jesus, Darius. Kill me, dude. We're both wearing fucking retarded ass turtlenecks. Holy oh, fucking bitch, dude. Oh, man, dude. I think it might be too Why late. did I fucking do this to my fucking self, dude? Where's the metro at? Uh, it's probably gonna be too late by the time we get there. But it's How right fucking here. embarrassing, dude. I, mean, I can't even.
You feel me, dude. I'm. You get your charger. Can you hear it, Chad? Think of your kids. I am thinking of my kids. Indeed, what? What is it saying? Go over there and find out. Shit, they, they saw me. <laughs> they saw me. White? Can I cross? Yeah. Should I cross? Yeah, go cross. Let's say, what's the issue here? No, they're going to start yelling. Who cares? She's Let yelling. Me. Jesus. Okay, hold on. I got to catch it up on all the drama. Alright, so in case it wasn't obvious from the title of this video, I'm done with TYT. Now, before we get into like everything about this... Do you remember the night when we slept, like all three of us, together? And do you yes. remember how she was... She woke up because she... Yes, and she, and she, was, she told me... She told me it was because yes. I was snoring. She was... It was not because you were snoring. Yeah, we had no, a conversation she, when you fell asleep. Oh, no shit. No shit. I, no shit. That's what it is now. That's what it is now. And now I know that... I didn't know that. I asked her about it. I was like, oh, do you not want to do this? And she said, no, you were just snoring really loud. Yes, because she has a... She has an issue with boundaries. And that's what she told me. And she told me that she was not comfortable with that. Do you understand how you're the, you're the fucking retard here, right? We're telling you, we're telling you that, and that's fine. Why not? I'm not being told this. I'm not being told this, and it's lying to me and feeding to me about what's going on isn't helping the situation. When I'm asking okay. you about it, if you would have told me about that earlier that you did not want to do that stuff. I would have probably moved the fuck on. Because it's not my responsibility to relay it's information not, between you two for to be a mediator I, between. As, as my friend, as my friend, and someone you see me hurting, I feel like you should at least go ahead and do me the benefit of the doubt to let me go instead of just going ahead and stringing me on and actively fucking with a girl who's uh, who's fucking with me. Who if you see can't have the boundaries? Just say it for me, and I'll tell you. I won't even tell her. I won't even mention it to her. It's I'll just not fucking move my on. Responsibility to be the mediator between your two. The then why the fuck are you talking? No, wait, no, but you are being the mediator by actively not telling me stuff, you fucking retard. Damn. He mad. Is there an allegation of sexual assault that's happening right here? Am I confused? Put the disobedience aspect on any of your gear. Is this I think like, it is on. Just I like, think I have it on something. What is this? Am I confused? What is somebody? Somebody else give me a read to this. Right? No? Nadoosh is trying it? It's this, yeah, on my amulet. Grace typing up the twit longer? It's Nadoosh being an actual retard? It doesn't seem clear on what happened on that event. He vague posted, he never says. Let's go back. All right, we're, we're gonna take this very seriously. This is no longer a drama thing. This is, uh, this is now a, um, this is now a, Upgraded. a much more serious a stream. I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I'm gonna grab something to drink and some, some shit. Oh my god. She has an issue with boundaries, and that's what she told me. She told me that she was not comfortable. So it sounds like he's saying that what he was communicated was that there was something that was happening that Darius inquired whether or not she had a problem with it. We don't know what it is. He just simply says, well, do, do you have a problem with it? And then he says, according to him, Grace responded with, no, some, you were just snoring really loud. Or somebody was snoring really loud. Let, hold on, let me go back to it. I don't, she don't want to do this. And she said, no, you were just snoring really loud. I can't tell if it, that was you just or he just, but that was happening. Darius does snore quite loudly. I can absolutely confirm that. I don't know about Nadouche, but I can confirm Darius snores very loudly. So loud that I often cannot sleep in the same room as him. Jeez. Yes, because she has, a, she has an issue with boundaries, and that's what she told me. She told me that she was not comfortable with that. So Nadouche's point here is that 
the reason why she used that as an excuse is because she has an issue with boundaries where she wouldn't tell him directly. She would kind of circumnavigate it, which is very, very common, extremely common. If you feel uncomfortable with the way somebody might be, you know, talking to you or, or gesturing towards you or touching you or anything like that, it is extremely common for you to say something else is the issue and kind of hope that the problem goes away. I do not recommend this in any way, shape, or form. I think it's generally better to err on the side of being more direct. However, many different circumstances, people can feel unsafe with being direct, so they resort to this route. But it's extremely common. Okay, where is Darius or Relevant? Get him in Discord. Do you understand how so you we can shortcut to the end of this, right? so I don't have They're to watch their shit all day. You that, and that's fine. Why not? I'm not being told this. I'm not being told this, and it's lying to me, and feeding me about what's going on. Is it how okay, because I don't want to listen to he, he said, she said about what she said or something. I saw Pixie's take about Jonah Hill's situation. I would ignore Pixie's takes on everything related to <laughs> relationships, but I feel like she just has the worst takes always. But um, hold on one second and then I'll chat. Rally, hold on. I'm doing well. I don't know if he's gonna wanna just talk to me. I have no idea, but I am here. I, I think Darius is socially overwhelmed. My chank pilled. Uh, I think sometimes he he has some base takes. I saw. All right, what's up? I don't know. It was pretty base. Uh, uh, I heard you wanted to talk a little bit about the Darnell situation. Darnell, which one is that? It's Darius. Wait, that's not his real name, is it? No, I oh. just call him Darnell because I think it's funny. Well, what's up? Well, I, I heard that you, you had some questions, like more specifically, I heard that you were just like, I don't want to watch like nine hours of video. So you wanted to talk to me or him. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I, it's not, there's no, I guess it's not much to talk to you about. He needs to, um, he's still talking to Grace, isn't he? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't have my eye over his shoulder and looking at his DMs, but if I had to guess, I would say yes. I think uh, this is my worry with the current trajectory. Um, here, this is why I feel like it's um, I feel like it's not going to end. The issue is that Grace uh, really wants to be involved in the stream because Ben really wants her to be. Uh, ben is using you guys as kind of like a proxy to get closer to my community because Darius has a lot of viewers. For some um, reason, I believe on it, but not Shank. Grace, am I now a simp? Is going to listen to whatever her dad says, like with no exception whatsoever. Um, and then Darius, I think, is gonna permanently follow Grace to the ends of the earth. Like, if Grace were to message Darius right now, I'd be like, listen, I think I was a huge asshole. Like, I'm really sorry about everything. Like, the moments we had together are really special. Like, can we try again or like hang out or even like, you know, whatever. Like, do you think Darius is really saying like, no, sorry, I don't think that's a good idea? No, no, I think I think it would be uh, very amenable towards her if yeah. she, she did that. Yeah. You know, and I had a conversation with him one-on-one -on -one after the panel thing mm -hmm. that you saw and i asked him that question specifically and of course his his response was like no i wouldn't do content or whatever with her but my main i think he still oh, go ahead. okay you said i, I think, think he still... still wants to do uh stuff in vegas or something he wants to do like a vegas stream with her or something yeah so <laughs> it's just gonna keep repeating itself right probably to, to some degree, usually this thing loops for a while. He's done it a couple other times. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I think that, uh, I think the, 
the only hope that I feel that there is is communicating to him how he's like losing friends over the situation. And when I tried to communicate that to him, it felt like there was some headway. Yeah, but like, um, who is, which friends are, are he, is he losing? I, our, our, our roommate. Who? Our roommate is like fed up. He's he's done. Wait, uh, who's the roommate? Uh, Zella. Oh, okay. Oh, he's actually leaving. No, he's he. I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to get necessarily into any specifics or whatever. But he's he's very fed up with it. Damn. Um. Yeah, he's he's past the point. Not not only him, but also other people uh, are becoming like just. A, they're just done. They get they have to emotionally check out because he's doing it to himself. Mm -hmm. So communicating to him that he's losing friendships over this is, I think. Did he talk to you one? before this last trip? Did he talk to you about like the whole plan that he had? Uh, yeah, he he filled me in on like several different plans. Yeah. Did it, did any of these get talked about publicly, or is it all still stuff that was in the background? Uh, it depends on which he he changed his plan like nine different times. <laughs> okay, true. Um, jeez. Yeah, I don't. Where is he at right now? Uh, he's in the house. He's just socially overwhelmed and doesn't want to be on the stream. Oh, okay. Uh, and so he just, yeah, he wants to kind of, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what his headspace is with, um, this stuff going into the future. I'm trying to move on and just do different content with different people uh -huh. and just, uh, you know, be done with these people. But, you know, I wanted to be done with them. At the very least until uh, after Rhode Island, and yeah. So, oh, I guess one uh, of the questions I had was why did he get into that call at all with Ben? Oh, uh, the call. So originally, the idea was I was going to go into the call to talk to Grace about what happened, where uh, you know what she did, and why she did it, and you know the effects on like other people. Mm -hmm. And then he just randomly joined. Um, gotcha. You should do whatever you can to keep Darius away from Ben. Because Ben, that Ben guy will mindfuck Darius. It will happen. Not on his mm -hmm. own, and Darius probably thinks it won't happen on his own, but he will do it through grace, and he will be successful. Like it, I don't know if Darius was aware of it, but it was already happening in that conversation where at the start, like Darius was incredibly hostile and aggressive, but like he started to take him more seriously and was like answering his questions and was going back and forth with him. Like, I think that that, um, that Ben guy could absolutely mind fuck Darius if Darius like just keeps joining without yeah any regard for his mental well being. Yeah, so I wanted to ask some questions about that because I, at the at least the start of when you were covering it, you, or at least I saw. Mm -hmm some you cover it you said that like why did i allow ben to to have the airtime and do that kind of stuff and yeah. shit like that and the problem was oh, not even um when i'm thinking of this right now i'm not even thinking airtime i'm just thinking in terms of like darius surviving yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and, like, and that author. compounded that compounded into my mind because i was treating it like a debate mm -hmm. a little bit sure um when i shouldn't have uh, because I was like, originally at the start, I was like, I don't want Ben here. I, I just don't want to talk to him. I don't care to talk to him. And then Darius joined and then he was it, like, at one point you started engaging with him and then I was like, okay, I'll, I'll let him talk and stuff because I think that's, you know, he, he can make his points and then I can make my points. And I was treating it too much like a debate. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have a conversation in, at least based on what I saw, you had an issue with that. I want, I want your opinion on how can I deal with somebody like that who's being manipulative in a situation like that and not have them just like get away with being manipulative? Well, I think you can deal with it fine. I don't think there's a problem with you talking to him, but Darius can't do it, right? Yeah, yeah. It comes down to, especially when you're dealing with manipulators, a lot of it can come down to like these different psychological leverages that people can have on each other. Like Ben doesn't have, at least that I'm aware of, he doesn't have any type of leverage on you to manipulate you or make you act a certain way. So it, like for you, yeah. it doesn't matter. But Darius is completely under Grace's thumb and Grace serves at the behest of her father. So Darius has no chance of surviving a conversation like that with a guy that is clearly manipulative. Um, 
right? He just can't. He, can't, he There's no way because Darius is yes, yes. at the end of the day always like hanging off of Grace's like every word, and he'll do whatever he can to kind of like maintain that connection. Like even if he's yes, saying mm -hmm. like whatever, I would never talk to her. Blah blah blah. Like I can tell. Like every time Grace is like, oh no, well maybe there's like you know maybe I could do something or maybe we can hang out again or blah blah. blah. Like I know that every time she says that, that like Darius's heart is like thumping, and he's like, okay, well maybe it's not completely over. I guarantee you that's what's going on inside. You can you can even see it in the conversation. He perks up and he starts like engaging and mm -hmm. uh, like he starts smiling a lot more and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you can definitely see that inside of the conversation. I saw that. Mm -hmm. But um, the thing that surprised me actually is I was thinking along those same lines and maybe there's something else going on in private. But towards the end of the conversation, it seems like it was of Grace's opinion that they should just not really interact anymore. Um, that would be surprising, but I didn't see the end of the conversation. Yeah, that's it. W it was rather surprising to me. She was coming to the conclusion that, like, she kept saying, like, I think your content isn't good for me, and I don't think my content is like good for you. I just don't think we should really do this anymore. Which I found incredibly because I I was of the same mind as you. Um, and now maybe she's being like rather sneaky about it. Maybe she was saying it because I was present and maybe in DMs it's completely different. Wouldn't surprise me a damn bit. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, like on the call towards the end of it, it felt very much like, well, it's not even it felt like. It literally got to the point where she was saying, I don't really want to do content with you anymore. And Darius was trying to convince her that if she does content on her own, it will be bad content compared to the content that yeah. they can do together. One thing that Mr. Girl did really well, and one thing I saw Ben doing well, and I didn't watch it to the end of this conversation, so it's hard to say. Also, everything I say, just as my reminder, is this is all like very vague, and depending on how the conversation played out, what I'm saying might not, um, might not apply at all is people have this idea that abusers are somebody who will push, 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 push all the time, but a really effective abuser or manipulator doesn't just push constantly. They're very, very, very good at pushing enough to get you to a certain place and then pulling back a lot and then getting you to push the rest of the way. Um, yeah. If you watch my analysis of Mr. Girl's conversation with Lav, he was really good at doing that, at basically pushing her to a point where he's like, well, but maybe you shouldn't do this. Well, maybe I don't want you to do this. And what, because he knew that Lav had fully bought into it and that she was ready to push the rest of the way. So it's possible that like Grace and Ben could get uh, Darius and stuff like that you just have to be wary of it but like also none of this really matters because the answer really should be that like Darius should not be interacting with these people at all like he's way 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 too emotionally compromised to make good decisions and it leaves him vulnerable to um, like these types of manipulations and, and I mean like obviously that's what the Ben guy does I hope that's not controversial at this point <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah no 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 I uh, absolutely that's what I was I was trying to communicate to him that uh, and now maybe you'll disagree but I don't think he we had a back and forth about um, like he should stop interacting with them. And a thing he kept bringing up that I thought wasn't valid was the idea that he shouldn't be like interacting with women at all until he solves these, his like attachment issues. Um, you brought that up or he brought that up? He, he said that. Oh, I mean, that's probably a little true. Yeah. Well, my, the, the, the thing that makes me believe that that isn't necessarily the case is he has like had several women recently in his life where he's interacted with them in a completely healthy manner. Really? Um, Wait, who? Uh, like, uh, Elise. I'm not sure if you know who that is. I mean, like, for um, a long term or for a couple dates? Uh, I mean, he still interacts with Elise after, so, so like, four months. Mm -hmm. Here, this um, is, um, again, all this is vague anecdote. I don't have studies for this, okay? Just, these are just, like, random observations I have. I mentioned this earlier on stream, is Darius, to me, he seems like a fixer, right? He wants people yeah. to fix. And what a lot of people don't realize is, or, or in my personal opinion, I feel like fixers, fixing, wanting to fix, comes from an area of low self-esteem. The reason why it feels so good to be a fixer is because when you found a person that needs fixing, they have a reason to want and need you. And it's like the best feeling in the world is when you found a broken, damaged person that's looking to you for like self reassurance or whatever. But it's because those people sometimes lack the confidence to just be in a normal relationship because they feel like they might not be needed or they might not be as important to the person as somebody that's broken and desperately needs that fixer. But I, I don't know, 100% of this applies to Darius, but like I know he seems to be in a lot of these types of relationships. But, um, yeah, something to keep in mind. I mean, he definitely, he definitely like seeks out these kinds of relationships. Like when he finds a woman that he considers to be like damaged and need fixing, mm -hmm. it, it definitely like just like a mega turn on. He they Sorry, like become a this talk with relax. Um, 
Do you have uh, any interest but in I think he's had I know what you say. He's going through his drug thing, and he's going uh, off the rails, and, and I'm worried about Hold on, wait, wait, wait. He's, I'm sorry. One so are thousands of others. What? I don't know why this guy just donated his life story to me. Okay, sorry. Say that one more time. That last one. Uh, he... Yeah, so he's had relationships with women who haven't needed fixing, and mm -hmm. it seems like it's been like pretty fine. Like there hasn't been any massive uh, or as big of an issue as there is with uh, specific people that he sees as like. Does he maintain those relationships, or? Yeah, I th I think he has. I think the only times that the relationships haven't been. Like, he's not as gung-ho about the relationships. Like, he doesn't... He's not, like, falling over them. Like, the people he tends to fall in love with mm -hmm. tends to be people that are uh, need-fixing, but he can, like, maintain, uh, at the very least, like, some kind of a intimate relationship with some of these people for a while until they typically, like, drift away. Hmm. Yeah. Well... Yeah. Okay, so. hold on. What did this guy say? Sorry to interrupt with Relly. Do you have any interest in checking with Zerka? No, I'm not Zerka's fucking babysitter, okay? I can't do that. That's all on him. I'm not, I have no interest in any of that. Yeah, um... There was that... I, I wanted to... Time. Sorry, go ahead. I wanted, well, now, I wanted to the interruption now. kind of discuss how... Um, you were talking about the uh, abuser... Uh, like relationship or whatever and how that works I think that he um, with these people I think he's capable of having relationships uh, with with people who are not um, or at least what he considers to be damaged mm -hmm. and I think he's able to like do that in a healthy manner but I'm trying to I think probably the next step for him is going to be like getting some form of therapy um, yeah, maybe, yeah. What is this? If he wants to, yeah. I mean, it comes yeah, down to him I, actually feeling like he has a problem and wants to fix it, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's, it's going to be the only way that gets done. Mm -hmm. But I I think that there's been multiple people who have been very close to him in his life that have tried to get him the help he needs. And it la 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 la, I can't hear you. Like, th this, la la this thing where he does this, it, it's happened dozens of times. There's been dozens of instances of him having these conversations with me or other people and he's he's kept looping so it's just you know mm -hmm. I, I, people are at their wits end with what to do yeah oh you know that that nadouche guy is insane right oh i wanted to discuss with you about that what what makes you say that i've just i've had select personal experiences i've seen him he seems like one of the people that like and also i could be wrong i just see and hear things he seems like one of the people that keeps those like side discords alive with just like insane interpersonal drama and insane behavior um i think i want to say he got banned from my stream for a long time ago because he was he came across as like actually schizophrenic like i think he made like 50 million accounts and would just like type the weirdest most unhinged borderline schizo messages um in chat like the guy is absolutely f***ing insane not in like a funny way but like in a probably craziest f way but um I, it sounds like you've probably had good experiences with him so i just keep that in mind i'm hold on i will upgrade that i'm sorry i'm ca i'm caging my opinion way too much i i know he is f***ing insane so i would just say be careful around him and don't trust him with anything because if he has the opportunity to flip on you or do like weird cloudy things or backstabby shit like i think he will always uh jump on that he is an absolutely unhinged person but just yeah be careful do you have experiences with him like doing like backstabby shit or yes. sorry you've seen him i well, yeah really yeah so i just uh just be uh, careful <clears throat> okay uh yeah i didn't i guess i wasn't aware of anything mm -hmm. like and being that. unhinged in general but just be careful yeah, just saying and i and okay. i think the darius shit was like that was very clear that like, you don't buy the whole um him saying that like oh we just thought this would be good for you or any bullshit like that right oh yeah where he was like i thought that um he did it because uh, he like either, i knew what was best for you yeah he either I mean. wants to f race himself or he just thought it'd be funny to troll the f darius like that's that was the only reason for all of that there was no like ulterior motive here to like help darius with anything yeah 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 um i i think that there was definitely i i don't think that was the the honest situation and I, I think that there might have been some emotions that he was going through to like and maybe some like 
pride situation when he was being confronted by it that was like him just trying to throw shit at the wall to justify his actions because at one point he said that he wasn't being manipulated by grace and then grace just openly admitted to manipulating him yeah um, i think that one issue that's happening is um and i think i got this from darius too and listening to him is especially since grace is a woman and she's young and she's cute um, it's actually incredibly rare, as much as red pillars will have you believe otherwise, it's actually really rare to run into women that are actually like psychopathic manipulators. They, they don't tend to do that. It's usually like a man thing. When you do run into a woman that can do it, it is very, 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 very hard to deal with because as a man, you are naturally just way more trusting towards women. You'd never really expect, it sounds weird, but you never really expect that a woman could do some weird like if you're online and some dude calls you like a racial slur or whatever like in your mind you've coded that person as male 100 percent of the time if somebody's being shitty mm-hmm. right like you it's just always that's just like an assumption that you make as a man um always and probably, and probably even other women to some extent you tend you tend to just you trust women more they're, they're just come off as more trustworthy um i think that there are a lot of people around grace that think they're a tad more clever than they actually are and i think there are i i think and this is just like what I hear from Darius and other people in the peripheral whatever. I think there's a lot of people around Grace that think that they're clever enough to play her and they're fucking with her, but she and Ben are actually spinning them and they're not aware of it. Um, yeah, so I would say just be careful of that, yeah. Because obviously you know that like our good friend Dario thought he was going to be one of those. It sounds like a couple other people were caught up in thinking that they were also playing her, but in the end that's not at all what happened. I think Ben and it seems to be the case that at the end of this, do you agree that Ben and Grace seem to have gotten exactly what they wanted? Exactly what they wanted. Yeah, they got I'd content say, yeah, out of yeah, they got content yeah, out of Darius. Much. A couple guys got mind fucked along the way. They turned a couple people against each other. They increased their viewership. They got a funny as fuck story. Darius got stood up at dinner. Um, I think did Darius cover the hotel room and everything when they were down there? Uh, no, I believe they split it. Did they split? Okay, they split it at least. Okay, yeah, but. I would say that for the most part, and remember going into this, right, because you know, um, Darius has had schemed all sorts of different things, and he thought he had like a really clever plan and everything going into it, but in the end, they got literally everything they wanted. They came out of this 100% of the mm-hmm. victors, despite all the planning and scheming and the multiple people involved and everything going on. Um, and it only happened because of all that leverage that Grace has on other people. This is why Ben can use her so effectively as a honeypot for people, right? Yeah, to be to be fair with the scheming bit on uh, Darius's end, I uh, I was very surprised to see um, the change in demeanor that he had mm-hmm. uh, during that because it, I mean it was literally within a 24-hour period that he was like upset to you know. I really like this woman. Yeah. And like making justifications for why not only making content, but possibly being in a relationship with her was a good idea. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is something I've said too, is there's, it's very easy to. Why do we care um, about this flower, Darius? It's very easy to bullshit yourself into something if you aren't, if you don't think a particular thing is actually happening or actually real. Um, let me give an example of this. When a guy is really obsessed with a girl or a girl really obsessed with a guy, if that relationship ends, sometimes the guy or the girl actually takes it, if they're obsessed with them, actually takes it a lot better than you'd expect them to. And it seems like, wow, well, maybe the person has just, they overcame their obsession, they're pretty mature, they're, you know, whatever is fine. Um, and that's maybe that's what it seems like on the surface is happening. But what's actually happened is, even though they split up, and that person's mind, they still kind of think they're dating and they really live that fantasy. They still talk to them, they're still friends. But where the yeah. actual disaster comes is when their ex-partner starts dating somebody new. Then everything comes crashing down. So for Darius, it was probably easy for him to like not give a fuck, be cool about it and chill and blah, blah, blah. And it seemed like he genuinely didn't care, but that's probably because in the back of his mind, him and Grace ending up together at the end, that was a sure thing. He knew that was gonna happen. That was never actually a question. So when that, remember, most of the disappointment in life comes from expectations not matching reality. When that reality shifted dramatically from underneath him, that's probably when the emotional shift followed too. Because then it went from being like kind of a fun whatever thing where he didn't really care to like, wait a second, I didn't actually think this could have been one of the outcomes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what it seemed like. And it was just weird to me seeing how easily it, it went back to the uh, to the original like 
I guess the original plan of like doing content and like doing mm-hmm. all that. It's yeah. just which they can't, right? You understand that's not possible too. They can't oh, yeah, just no, do no, like funny, not. jokey content, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't even think it's possible for them to really have much of any communication at all. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just gonna loop again. Uh, I guess from maybe you don't have any suggestion, but from your position, do you have any suggestion for what like I should do? Nope. Um, I think that there are ways to help people in these situations, but it requires like long-term compassion, care, um, willing to let them fail over and over again, a lot of support mentally, emotionally. Uh, I I don't have the battery for that. I I mean, like if you want to do it, like you can, but it's just like, there are some people, this sounds really mean, I don't mean to make it sound this way, but there are some people that are like lifelong projects and they might never improve. that's I, I personally I don't have an interest in it, so I don't I don't know how to advise it. If somebody like wants help with something or genuinely wants advice, like I can be the best most supportive person in the world because when people want help and stuff, it's really fun to move into that mode and to help somebody better themselves, improve themselves, figure out a problem or whatever. But a lot of the times, the issue you have is people don't even recognize there's a problem, and if they don't recognize there's a problem, they're not going to want to fix it because what is there to fix if there's no problem? Um, and then it's like why even, yeah, why waste your time? That, that's just me, but. Yeah, I think I think some some people uh, that are I knew who were close to them are are of the mind where they're just like yeah they're they're just fed up. It's just too much. They've tried the calm, patient, compassionate route for a while, some of them years, mm-hmm. and it just hasn't worked out. And so it's just like too much. Yeah. Um, and maybe I'll be one of those people soon. Maybe I will be, but yeah, I don't know. He's uh, uh, we'll we'll just we'll see. At the very least, until the uh, lease is up, we'll see what happens. So, well, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, last last quick question here. Um, in the because I know you were talking about the abusive uh, person, like what. I could do to avoid it. What, what do you think I could have done in the call with where Darius, Ben, and Grace were present? Should I have been just trying to keep it on the rails, or should I just been trying to shut the whole thing down as fast as possible? I mean, like you, yeah. I mean, like you've seen the movie Seven, right? I actually haven't. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, if you have a person that, that is that emotionally compromised, um, this is something I said earlier on stream, is some people delude themselves into thinking that being mentally strong means that you're not affected by anything. What it actually means is recognizing your limits because everybody has them and to pretend that you don't have them means that you're not aware of them, which makes you susceptible to bullshit in the future. Uh, Darius cannot be in the same room as Grace and act reasonably, and to put him in the room with Grace and a manipulator means that he's always going to get mindfucked every single time. So the as much fun as the content is, and I might even indulge in it because I don't, at the end of the day, it's just that for me. But like realistically, for, to take into account his well-being, um, I don't think he can ever be in a room with Grace and Ben. That should just probably never happen. He could try a one-on-one combo with Grace, but unfortunately, I don't know if he's capable of parsing Grace's thoughts from Ben's implanted thoughts in Grace. Um, because it seems like Ben is really good at getting Grace to believe things that she then tells Darius that Darius thinks are coming genuinely from her, but they're not. So I, I, I would say where Darius is at now, mentally and emotionally, he should probably just never talk to Grace ever. There's just no point in it until he's like fixed whatever compulsion he has with being a fixer, I think. Okay. Um, let me just double check with Darius if he wants to say anything. Sure thing. Before, uh... Uh, okay, yeah, he, he doesn't want to talk. Wait, uh, I did remember the last, last question. Um, there was people saying that you were talking about uh, exiling him if he uh, continues interacting with Grace because you believe that... Uh, oh, yeah, something that I would be uncomfortable with is, yeah, Ben's goal is to grow off of larger communities, and I would feel yep. weird, like, embedding Darius's stream as he continues to interact with Grace, because I know that's what Ben wants. Obviously, I can't dictate Darius's behavior, but I don't think I would be keen to lend my fan base to Darius to enrich Grace, who's just being manipulated by Ben, right? Who's, like, the puppet master. Um, yeah. I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up, because I've been trying to tell him kind of something similar mm-hmm. about, like, how they're, they're just here to get... You know, the numbers, the audience, and things like that, they, that's the literally the only reason why they're engaging with you. If the numbers were reversed, they wouldn't even be talking to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. I think 
I I just wanted to make sure that that was true. I, th I think that is a good plan. Yeah. I think that's better for everyone. Probably, yeah. yeah. Uh, much love, brother. Which Wait, later. what? Much love. Oh. I'll talk to you much later. Much love to you too. Be careful, buddy.